Morning, folks. Jonathan here. Scott's around here somewhere. Oh, he's outside. Anyway, working on the gas tank and mounting it, and getting a little cage around it. Also working on grinding the header, getting them ready to uh, put on. We'll probably go ahead and put them on and get it fired up before we uh, get the body on. Do much, much more. So uh, anyway, we got to uh, make a run and go pick something up, and I'll show you what it is when we get there. Okay, folks, made it back with the parts. Uh, this is what I had bought. I bought this quite a while back. I've just uh, finally had a had a little while to go get it. I wanted to get away anyway, and uh, been doing so many wrecks. I thought maybe figured I was caught up and I wouldn't miss any, which I didn't. I got lucky. But uh, this is a 1949 Chevrolet uh, convertible, and this is all the convertible parts that it would take to actually take a two-door coupe and turn it into a convertible or it'd be even easier with a two-door hardtop but the two-door coupe would be the way to probably go with it and uh, actually have for this part a good clear North Carolina title 1949 Chevy convertible which is probably hard to find too but what I can do is if I buy a car with a good title I can actually use this title and the other title and should be able to retitle it as a convertible uh, but all of the parts that that you need to make the convertible is here including the tops of the doors and the top of the top of the windshield Let's see if I can get over there to show you that but uh, here is the top of the windshield and where the latch is where it latches down and uh, it was just cut off down there and the tops of the doors are here and the back window for the convertible top which is hard to find uh, there's one of the tops of the doors and you can actually do that under the trim where this trim comes up if you cut it and put them in under the trim you can probably get away without doing much actual body work on the car you know finish work and same way with this piece of trim it goes around but anyway I've been keeping my eye out for a two-door coupe that uh, you know would make a good uh, car to use this as donor parts to make a convertible and be able to make it and actually make it right and all the top bows are there and parts of the cylinders are here and here's the old pump so there's quite a bit of stuff here for it and uh, like I said, the main stuff that you've got to have to build it. I'm going to buy a decent restored car. This is not a Boyd Coddington. We'll buy something with a, uh, you know, needs floors and needs restored anyway. So, All right. Uh, back to work on the roadster. All right. We're trying to get this all finished up and see what I'm doing here. Putting the frame around it and we're going to get it mounted. And we're working on headers. Here's the headers. Scott's been grinding on. Trying to straighten out where I... Did some crappy welding, but we're uh, we're getting there. Get them all cleaned up, and then we'll be able to put them on. All right. Okay, folks, gonna call it a night. Got that welded on, and that one welded on. Now I got to make a bracket to bolt it on here, and then we're gonna make a piece to bolt the strap on back here. And that will take care of the tank. We'll run the fuel line, get it hooked up, and get these headers on right here. We're gonna paint them first, of course, and then uh, once we get them painted and let them dry with some, you know, a little while. Uh, we're going to paint them with some heat paint, of course. And then uh, we will go from there. And then we'll see if we can get it fired up. Just going to run it on the headers. And then uh, i still got to pull the distributor and get it set in, in the right spot. I don't have it on top dead center. So uh, once the is on, on top dead center, plug wires are right. And I got number one marked on the cap. So we just need to face the distributor toward number one. And we'll get a vacuum line hooked up for the... Uh, vacuum advance. That's about it. Once we get the fuel line done, we'll be able to see if we can get this darn thing fired up. See how it sounds. And had a subscriber bring me a set of headlights. These are unit, these are the good headlights with the, the parking light up on the top. And so we're going to use these. I've got to come up with one bezel, and uh, which I can't seem to find. I can find full lights and I can find the little light for the top and all that stuff, but uh, I think these are what 682s or something I can't remember what they call them but uh, they're unity is what the brand they are but uh, anyway if anybody has a bezel they want to sell I uh, don't matter whether it's painted or 
you know, stainless, because I'm going to paint these lights either way, but I would be def definitely be interested in one, right? Okay, folks, early Sunday morning, I'm going to make a ride to the parts store and pick up some fuel line and filter. When we get this gas tank mounted, go ahead and get the fuel line ran and headers on and try to get this thing started and see how it works out here. All right, all right, folks, fuel system is officially hooked up. Uh, still got some drilling and some clamps to put in, you know, to hold the, the uh, actually the brake line and the fuel line back this way, but we'll get it. But everything from here up is done. And uh, like I said, I've just got it run so I can fire this thing up. Uh, been having a pretty busy day, so of not working on this. I'm busy. I wanted a busy day of working on it, but uh, been doing a bunch of other stuff. But I did pick up another truck. Uh, I'll show you. All right, folks. Here we go. Another Chevrolet pickup. Uh, this one has good paperwork. I don't have the paperwork here yet, but I believe it's 55. But it does have a good clear current title. And it's going to need some rocker work, some uh, cap, cap corner work. The hinge pockets don't look bad on it, uh, which is usually, you know, a pretty major thing to work on, but just down here at the bottom. Been sitting for a lot of years. It does have the engine transmission in it. So we'll check it, and if it's not stuck, we'll try to do a first start on it. But, uh, you know, these trucks are getting harder and harder to find. It is a short bed, but I don't have a bed for it. But it will, uh, it wouldn't be, you know, terrible to, to redo this one. But this one actually came from a friend of mine, John, that owns the junkyard uh, I do some trading with. So I ended up with this, and he ended up with some late model stuff to, uh, for scrap. So, uh, anyway, still got the hijacker. Air shock sticker. Yeah. All stock, three on the column. Generator's off of it, but I believe it was laying in the floor of it. So, air cleaner's still there. So, like I said, if it's not stuck, we'll probably try to start it. See what we can figure out. It's got some major hinge problems on the other side. And the windshield's been knocked out of it, but like I said, these uh, they're getting harder to find. So even though it's not a big back glass, it's just a small back glass. It's still definitely a, a truck that can be fixed. Okay, folks, we've got the headers bolted on, and of course that's just temporary. They're going to come back off. But just wanted to tell you that uh, this engine. If anybody watched the first start on this engine when it was on the ground, and however long that video was for. Uh, that's how long you got to hear it run. That's also how long I got to hear it run. Uh, I have not run it besides that. So we're going to see how this works out. Uh, hopefully we'll get lucky and there's no issues, but uh, got to go get some fuel real quick. Got to get it in time. And that should be about it. Maybe clean the points. I'll get to hook up a oil pressure line uh, and oil pressure gauge. But... I didn't get a chance to finish the headers up and paint everything on them. Uh, I didn't want to paint them and put them on wet. And I'm running out of time, so uh, I figured since we got the fuel system done, and we can wire it real quick, just enough to start it. We'll uh, see how see how she does. All right.
off. All right, folks, here we go. Not quite sure. We don't seem to be getting quite as hot. That one's painted. Uh, the other ones on the other side match. Not sure why. Uh, which I haven't adjusted the valves or anything. These are pretty even. But uh, I think everything's going to be okay. Run really good. Uh, it's not smoking. Uh, heard one lifter tapping just a little tiny bit, but no, I may need to go back to and readjust the valves. Uh, I've got to come up with, you know, they make an adapter for this carburetor to go to a straight. It's going to put a straight on it, but it, the top wouldn't fit on it. This is a Ford, and I think the other one was messing with the, was a Stromberg 94. So we've got to come up with something to get an air cleaner on the top of this. And uh, like I said, we've got a, evidently a gasket, thermostat housing gasket leaking and leaking down through here, all the way down the back of the intake on the ground. Uh, water pump I thought was leaking, it, well it was leaking or seeping a little bit at first. It's straightened up, but that don't mean I'm not going to replace it. I may or may not. Uh, I did push clutch in, put it in gear, and let it out real slow. It does move good. No issues there. I think everything's going to be good. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, so now I'll get the headers back off and clean them up a little bit, get some paint on them. And uh, so I don't want the headers on it when we're setting the body on because the body's going to be you know, close to them. And uh, I don't want to scratch it up or anything like that. So I think uh, I think that's about it. I think everything else is good to go. Fuel system's good. I've just got to drill some uh, holes and put some screws and some holders in to hold the the lines and do it so I can get these uh, ties off. And uh, I think everything's going to work out good. I think the gas tank will be fine back here. Uh, I'm sure I'll get. Some people will say okay with the bar and some people will say it's dangerous as can be being in the back and you know it is what it is. I don't plan on getting hit and uh, you know I don't know. It's a damp you do damp you don't situation. I mean I think if you put the gas tank on the side someone would love to hit you in the side so you know it's just one of them deals but we'll let it go like it is and see how it does. Uh, anyway. Appreciate everybody watching, and until next time, bye.